Our lesson for today, ang ating aralin sa araw na ito, is about the basic greetings in Tagalog or pagba. We have here question in Tagalog that's tanong and answer in Tagalog is sagot. The first one here is how are you, hi or hello. How are you, hi or hello in Tagalog is kumusta. Kumusta, kumusta. Kumusta, to make this greeting or question more polite, we add the word po. Kumusta po. Kumusta po? And to answer this greeting or question, you will respond with Mabuti po. Mabuti po. Mabuti po. When we say Mabuti po, it means I'm good. The next one is, the next greeting is Good day. How do we say good day in Tagalog? It is Magandang araw. Magandang Araw. Magandang araw. To make this greeting more polite, we add the word po. Magandang araw po. The word ganda means pretty and araw can mean the day of the week or the sun. To answer the greeting magandang araw po, you will respond with magandang araw din po. Magandang araw din po. We have the word din, it means to or also which means good day to you too. The next greeting or pagbati that we have here is good morning. How do we say good morning in Tagalog? We say magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. To make this greeting more polite, we once again add the word po so it becomes magandang umaga po. Magandang umaga po. To, to answer this question or greeting, we say, Magandang umaga din po. Magandang umaga din po. Magandang umaga din po. Next greeting is, Good noon. How do we say good noon in Tagalog? We say, Magandang tanghali. Magandang Tanghali. To make this more polite, we add the word po. It becomes magandang tanghali po. Magandang tanghali po. To answer this greeting or pagbate, we say, we respond with magandang tanghali din po. Magandang tanghali din po. Which means good noon too. Next greeting or pagbati is we have good afternoon. How do we say good afternoon in Tagalog? We say magandang hapon. And to make this more polite, we add the word po. It becomes magandang hapon po. Magandang hapon po. Magandang hapon po. To answer this greeting, you respond with magandang hapon din po. Magandang hapon din po. The next greeting is good evening. When we say good evening in Tagalog, we say magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. To make this greeting more polite, we add the word po. So it becomes magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi po. To answer this greeting, respond with Magandang gabi din po. Magandang gabi din po. Next is we have goodbye. How do we say goodbye in Tagalog? So we say paalam. Pa-alam. Paalam. To make this more polite, we add the word po again. So it becomes paalam po. Paalam po. To answer... To respond with someone who says paalam to you, you, you say paalam din po. Paalam din po. Paalam din po, which means goodbye to because of the word din as what I've mentioned earlier. It means to or also. We also have the word take care and in Tagalog that is ingat. Ingat. 
ingat. To make it more polite, we add the word po, it becomes ingat po. And to respond with this, you say, ingat din po. Ingat din po, which means in English, take care too. So, we have here, in generalization, we have magandang araw, that means good day in English. Magandang umaga, that's good morning. Magandang tanghali, that's good noon. Magandang hapon, that's good afternoon. And magandang gabi, that's good evening. We also have paalam, to make it more polite, we say paalam po. We also have sige, mauna na ako. Sige, mauna na ako. To make it more polite, we say sige, mauna na po ako. In English, it means alright, I'll go ahead. And we also have hanggang sa muli or see you again. Hanggang sa muli. To make this more polite, we say hanggang sa muli po. Hanggang sa muli po. We also have here again, kumusta po? Magandang araw po. Magandang gabi po. Magandang umaga po. Magandang tanghali po. Magandang hapon po. Paalam po. Sige mauna na po ako. And hanggang sa muli po. Our lesson for today is aralin bilang dalawa, pagpapakilala or introducing oneself. How to continuously introduce yourself in Tagalog. Here is our self-introduction script. The first one is, Kumusta po kayo? Magandang araw? Or magandang tanghali? Or if it's hapon? Or if it's gabi? So you'll just have to choose one. Magandang hapon po? Ako po si, and then you say your name. Ako po si Raymond. And then sa, and then the place where you live, po ako nakatira. Sa Iloilo po ako nakatira. Or sa Seattle po ako nakatira. Or you can say, sa Los Angeles po ako nakatira. And then your age, you can say, um, labing walong taong gulang na po ako. Labing walo, that means 18, labing walong taong gulang. And then you say, ako po ay nag-aaral sa, and then the name of the school, you can say, ako po ay nag-aaral sa UCLA. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UW. Nagtatrabaho po ako sa Walmart. It means I'm working at Walmart. Nagtatrabaho po ako sa Walmart or nagtatrabaho po ako sa CVS. Um, ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay... Um, this means my favorite Filipino food or dish is... And then you say your answer. So you can say, Ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay adobo. Ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay sinigang. And then, ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala, which means I'm glad or I'm happy to know or to meet you. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. And then we have here, maraming salamat po, which means thank you very much. And then, paalam at ingat lagi. So, goodbye and take care always. Lagi is always. Okay, let me introduce myself starting from the top. Okay, kumusta po kayo? Magandang araw po. Ako po si Raymond. Sa Iloilo po ako nakatira. Labing walong taong gulang na po ako. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UCLA. Nagtatrabaho po ako sa CVS. Ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay adobo. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. Maraming salamat po. Paalam at ingat po lagi. Okay, so let us discuss each question one at a time. So the first one here is we have, Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta po kayo? This means, how are you? Hi or hello. Kumusta po kayo? And then the second one is, Magandang araw? Or magandang tanghali, magandang hapon, or magandang gabi. Kumusta po kayo? Magandang hapon po. Okay, next is, we have ako po si, and then you say your name. Ako po si Raymond. Ako po si Maria. Ako po si Clara. And then the next one, that means I am, and then the name. Or my name is. Next one is, sa place po ako nakatira. So, sa Iloilo po ako nakatira. Or you can say, sa Los Angeles po ako nakatira. Or sa San Francisco po ako nakatira. Ako po si Raymond. Sa Iloilo po ako nakatira. 
Ako po si Maria sa Los Angeles po ako nakatira. Yeah, next is um, age and then taong gulang na po ako. This means I am your age and then years old. Alabing walong taong gulang na po ako. I'm 18 years old. The next one is I am studying or I'm studying at and then the name of the school. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UCLA. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UDAB. Okay, labing walong taong gulang na po ako. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UDAB. Okay, that's for our questions. Another one is, nagtatrabaho po ako sa, and then the name of the company. So you say, nagtatrabaho po ako sa CVS. Nagtatrabaho po ako sa um, Costco. Next is, ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay, and then you say, the, your favorite Filipino dish. So you can say, ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay adobo. Ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay sisig. Ang paborito kong pagkaing Pinoy ay, ano pa ba, um, sinigang. Ayan. So, this is for these questions here. We also have, ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. This means, I'm glad or I'm happy to meet you. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. Or ikinagagalak, Kupo kayong makilala or ikinagagala kong makilala ka. Okay? Another, that means I'm glad or I'm happy to meet you. Next is maraming salamat po, paalam at ingat po lagi. So when we say maraming salamat po, that means thank you very much. Just the word salamat means thank you. But when we say maraming salamat, that means thank you very much. Because when we say marami, that means many. Okay, many thanks. Thank you very much. And then paala means goodbye. And ingat means take care. And then when we say lagi, that's all the time or always. So maraming salamat po, paalam, at ingat po lagi. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. Maraming salamat po, paalam, at ingat po lagi. Okay, let's go back again to our, all our self-introduction um, sentences. And I'm gonna say them one more time. Okay, kumusta po kayo? Magandang hapon po. Ako po si Raymond. Sa Iloilo po ako nakatira. Labing walong taong gulang na po ako. Ako po ay nag-aaral sa UCLA. Nagtatrabaho po ako sa Walmart. Ang paborito kong pagkain Pinoy ay sinigang. Ikinagagala ko po kayong makilala. Maraming salamat po. Paalam at ingat po lagi. How do we say thank you in Tagalog? We say, Salamat. Salamat. Sa. La. Mat. Salamat. If you want to say thank you very much, all you have to do is to add the word, Marami. Maraming. Maraming salamat. Marami means many and our NG is our connector. Maraming salamat or thank you very much. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Of course, to make it more polite, we just add the word po. It becomes maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po or thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. Aside from salamat or maraming salamat, you can also use the word thank you and all you have to do is to just add the word po. Thank you po. Thank you po. If someone says maraming salamat to you, your answer or sagot would be walang anuman. It means it's nothing or welcome. Walang anuman. Wa lang a no man. Walang anuman. Walang anuman. You can also say walang problema. Walang problema or no problem. Wa lang problema. Walang problema. Walang problema. Of course, you can also use the word welcome and all you have to do is to add the word po. Welcome po. 
Welcome po. Or you're welcome. We have here an example or halimbawa. Someone says, Maraming salamat sa pasalubong or thank you for the souvenir. Maraming salamat sa pasalubong. And then to respond, you say, Walang anuman, maliit na bagay. Walang anuman, maliit na bagay. Which means, welcome, it's a small thing. Maraming salamat sa pasalubong. Walang anuman, maliit na bagay. Isa pang halimbawa, maraming salamat sa tulong mo. Thank you for your help. Maraming salamat sa tulong mo. And then to answer, you say, walang problema. Walang problema. Maraming salamat sa tulong mo. Walang problema. Salamat sa pagdalo ninyo. Salamat sa pagdalo ninyo. And you answer with, walang anuman po. Walang anuman po. Salamat sa pagdalo ninyo. Walang anuman po. Walang anuman po. Another example or halimbawa is, Thank you sa regalo mo, Tita Liza. Thank you sa regalo mo, Tita Liza. Thank you for your gift, Aunt Liza. And to respond, you say, Walang anuman or walang problema. Or you can also say, Welcome po. Walang anuman, walang problema, or welcome po. The first sentence or pangungusap is, Sana ay mapatawad mo ako. Sana ay mapatawad mo ako. Which means, I hope you can forgive me. Sana ay mapatawad mo ako. Sa na ay mapatawad mo ako. Sana ay mapatawad mo ako. Next sentence or pangungusap is, Ako ay humihingi ng paumanhin. Ako ay humihingi ng paumanhin. This means, I'm asking for forgiveness or sorry. I'm asking for sorry. Ako ay humihingi ng paumanhin. Ako ay humihingi ng paumanhin. Ako ay humihingi ng paumanhin. Sunod na pangusap or sentence ay, Mawalang galang lang po. Mawalang galang lang po. Which means, literally means just to be rude or excuse me. Mawalang galang lang po. Mawalang galang lang po. Mawalang galang lang po. Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang parke? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang parke? Excuse me. Where is the park? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang parke? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang parke? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang CR? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang CR? Excuse me, where is the comfort room? Um, it's like here in the Philippines, we don't usually use the word restroom, but we use the word comfort room or CR. Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang CR? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang CR? Mawalang galang lang po. Nasaan po ba ang CR? Sunod na pangusap or sentence ay paumanhin po. This also means I'm sorry. Paumanhin po. Paumanhin po. 
pa u man hin po. Pa u man hin po. Example or halimbawa is, pasensya na po kayo, sarado po kami ngayon. Pasensya na po kayo, sarado po kami ngayon, which means I'm sorry, we're close today. Pasensya na po kayo, sarado po kami ngayon. Sarado po kami ngayon. Pasensya na po kayo, sarado po kami ngayon. Next halimbawa is, pasensya na po kayo, bawal po kayong pumasok. Pasensya na po kayo, bawal po kayong pumasok. Which means, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to come in or to get inside. Bawal po kayong pumasok. Pasensya na po kayo, bawal po kayong pumasok. Pasensya na po kayo, bawal po kayong pumasok. We have here the question or the tanong. Nagsasalita ka ba ng Ingles? Do you speak English? Nagsasalita ka ba ng Ingles? Nagsasalita ka ba ng Ingles? Nagsasalita ka ba ng Ingles? You can also say, marunong ka bang mag-Ingles? Marunong ka bang mag-ingles? Marunong ka bang mag-ingles? Marunong ka bang mag-ingles? To make it more polite, we add the word po. Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng ingles? Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng ingles? Do you speak English? Nagsasalita po ba? Kayo ng Ingles? Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Another one is, marunong po ba kayong mag-Ingles? 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 Mawalang galang lang po. Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Mawalang galang lang po. Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Mawalang galang lang po. Nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? You can also have, mawalang galang lang po. Marunong po ba kayong mag-Ingles? Mawalang galang lang po. Marunong po ba kayong mag-Ingles? Or, excuse me, do you know how to speak English? Mawalang galang lang po. Marunong po ba kayong mag-Ingles? To answer this, people would either say, Oo or opo, hindi or hindi po, or they might say konti or konti lang. Oo means yes and no is hindi and when we say konti, that's little. Oo, hindi or konti. Or you might also hear the word opo or hindi po. Marunong po ba kayong mag-Ingles? Oo, marunong akong mag-Ingles. Mawalang galang lang po, nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Hindi po, hindi ako nagsasalita ng Ingles. Mawalang galang lang po, nagsasalita po ba kayo ng Ingles? Konti lang. We have also, if you would want to ask the people around the area or the people that you've met, if they speak other languages, you can say, Marunong ka bang mag-Arabic? Or, Marunong ka bang mag-French? Marunong ka bang mag? 
and then you add the language which means do you know how to speak and then the language marunong ka bang mag french marunong ka bang mag hiligay non marunong ka bang mag cebuano Uh, we have here, first of course, um, we need to know our demonstrative pronouns in Tagalog. And we have ito, iyan, and iyon. So, ito means this in English. Um, and if the object is like near the speaker, we have iyan that translates to that in English. And then if the object is far from the speaker. And we also have iyon, though it also means that. But the object is farther away from the speaker. So we have our demonstrative pronouns, eto, iyan, and iyon. Okay, next we have here an example, this, that, and that. Okay, the first one, this is eto, that is iyan, and that which is farther away is iyon. So eto, iyan, and iyon. So what's on the picture is a cat. So, cat in Tagalog is pusa. Yeah, that's correct. So, a cat is a pusa. So, if the question is, ano ito? What's this? And then you answer with, ito ay pusa. Ano yan? Or ano iyan? You say, and then you answer, iyan ay pusa. Ano iyon? Then you say, iyon ay pusa. Aside from saying, ito ay pusa, you can also say, pusa ito. Or, pusa iyan. Or the contraction, which is yan. Pusa iyan. Ano iyon? And then you can say pusa iyon or you can say pusa iyon which is the contraction of iyon. So pusa to, pusa iyan, and pusa iyon. Another example here, um, how do we say um, cat? So in like in English, you add S or ES, something like that. In Tagalog, we add the word mga. Okay, so ano ang mga ito? Ano ang mga iyan or ano ang mga iyon? Ano ang mga to? Ano ang mga yan? Ano ang mga yon? And then to answer, like if the question is, ano ang mga to? You answer with, ito ay mga pusa. Or if the question is, ano ang mga yan? What are... Yeah, and so you say, iyan ay mga pusa. And then, iyon ay mga pusa. Aside from saying, ito ay mga pusa, you can also say, pusa ang mga ito. Or pusa ang mga iyan. Or pusa ang mga yan. Or pusa ang mga yon. So we have the word mga. Uh, mga is um, like the equivalent of S or ES in Tagalog. Okay, so that's mga ito, mga iyan, and mga iyon. So next we have here, this is um, a house in Tagalog. This is a bahay. So the question is, ano to? Or ano ito? And then you can either answer, ito ay bahay or bahay ito. So ano to? Bahay to. Ito ay bahay. Next question is we have here, or yes, we have here a barn is a kamalig in Tagalog. Kamalig, and the question is ano to, or ano ito, and then you can answer with ito ay kamalig, or kamalig ito. Ano to? Kamalig to, or kamalig ito. Next we have, this is a pusa. So the question is ano to, or ano ito, you can either answer ito ay pusa, or pusa to. Ano to? Pusa to. Okay, next we have here um, a dog in Tagalog is an aso. So the question is, ano to? Or ano ito? You can either answer, ito ay aso or aso ito or aso to. Ano to? Aso to. Okay, next we have here, um, manok is a chicken. But the picture that we have here on the screen is an inahen. So the question is, ano yan or ano iyan? And then to answer, you can either say, iyan ay manok or manok yan. Okay, ano yan? Manok yan. Okay, next we have here, um, ibon. When you say ibon, that's a bird. Ibon. But in our picture here, this is an agila. So, ibon. Okay, ano yan? That's the question. And then to, to answer, you say, iyan ay ibon or ibon yan. Ano yan? Ibon yan. Or iyan ay ibon. Okay, next we have here a carabao is um, kalabao or a water buffalo. Kalabao. And the question is, ano iyon or ano yon? To answer, you say, iyon ay kalabao or kalabao yon. Ano yon? Kalabao yon. Next we have here a cow in Tagalog is a baka. Baka. The question is, ano yon? Ano yon or ano iyon? 
Ano yon? Baka yon or iyon ay baka. Okay, next we have here a tigre is a tiger. Tigre, the question is, ano yon? To answer you say, iyon ay tigre or tigre yon. Ano yon? Tigre yon. Ano yan? Tigre yan. Ano to? Tigre to. Okay, next we have here is leon. So when we say leon, that's a lion in English. Leon. Leon. So the question is, ano yan? Ano yan? And then to answer you say, iyan ay leon or leon yan. Ano yan? Leon yan or leon yon. Okay, next we have here, this is a manga or a mango. You say, ano to? The question is, ano to? And to answer you say, ito ay manga or manga ito or manga to. Ano to? Mangga to. Ano yan? Mangga yan. Ano yon? Mangga yon or mangga yon. Okay, next we have here, this is a pakwan or a watermelon. Pakwan. The question is, ano to? And then to answer you say, ito ay pakwan or pakwan to or pakwan ito. Yan. So, ano to? Pakwan to. Ano yan? Pakwan yan. Ano yon? Pakwan yon. You just have to be particular with your distance to the object that you're pointing at. Okay, next we have here is um, pinya is a pineapple. Ano to? Ito ay pinya or pinya ito or pinya to. Ano to? Pinya to. Ano yan? Pinya yan. Ano yon? Pinya yon or iyon ay pinya. Okay, next we have here is presas. Presas is strawberry. In English, our question is, ano ito? Ano to? Presas to. Ito ay presas. Ano yan? Presas yan. Ano yon? Presas yon. Okay, ano to? Ito ay presas or presas ito. Next we have here is buko. A buko is a young coconut. Buko or coconut in general. Okay, ano to? Ito ay buko or buko ito or you can say ano to? Buko to. Ano yan? Buko yan. Ano yon? Buko yon. Buko. Okay, next we have here is kalamansi. Ayan, a calamansi is a lemon or a lime. The question is, ano yan or ano iyan? You can say, iyan ay calamansi or calamansi yan or calamansi iyan. So if the question is, ano to? You just have to replace um, iyan with ito or to. So ito ay calamansi, calamansi to or calamansi ito. Okay, next we have here lapis. So a lapis is um, pencil in English. The question is, ano ito? Lapis ito, or ito ay lapis, or you can say, lapis to. Lapis yan, lapis yon. Okay, lapis is a pencil. Next, we have here um, paper, that's papel. Paper, the question is, ano to? Ano ito? To answer you say, papel ito, or ito ay papel, or papel to. Ano yan? Papel yan. Papel yon. Just depending on your distance to the object that you're pointing at okay next we have here how do we say paper and pencil yeah and how do we say paper and pencil so at um translates to end in english so lapis at papel pencil and paper ano to lapis at papel ito ito ay lapis at papel ano yan Lapis at papel yan. Um, iyan ay lapis at papel. So, yes. Next, we have here um, upuan at mesa. An upuan is a chair and a mesa is a table. So, upuan at mesa. Ano yan? Upuan at mesa yan. Iyan ay upuan at mesa. Ano to? Upuan to. Ano yan? Upuan yan. Ano yon? Mesa yon. Or the question is, ano iyon? Iyon ay mesa. Okay, yan. Upuan at mesa. So we have here, um, again, there are chairs and a table. So that's mga upuan at mesa. Chairs and table. Yan. So the question is, ano ang mga yan? The answer is, mga upuan at mesa yan or iyan ay mga upuan at mesa. Ano ang mga to? Mga upuan at mesa to. Or ito ay mga upuan at mesa. 
Okay, next we have here, this is your kape at tinapay or a kape. So coffee and tinapay is bread. So gatas, that's milk. So gatas at tinapay, kape at tinapay. So the question is, ano yon? Kape at tinapay yon? Or iyon ay kape at tinapay? Ano to? Ito ay kape at tinapay or kape at tinapay ito. Let us have the following when we say, how do we say yes or no in Tagalog? So we can either say them either formally or less formally. So when we say yes in Tagalog, to formally say yes, you say opo. O, po. Opo. Uh, the less formal way to say yes is o, o. O, o. Opo. O, o. Here are the words or phrases to say no in Tagalog. The first one is hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi po. And the less formal way to say no is hindi. Hindi po. Hindi. Opo. Hindi po. Oo. Hindi. Let us have the following questions which are answerable by yes or no in Tagalog. The first one is, umaga na ba? Umaga na ba? Oo, umaga na. Hindi. Hindi pa umaga. Next question is, nakakain ka na ba? Have you eaten? Nakakain ka na ba? Oo, nakakain na ako. Hindi, hindi pa ako nakakain. Next question is, gising ka na ba? Are you awake? To answer, you can either say, oo, gising na ako, or hindi, hindi pa ako gising. Okay, you can just answer yes or no, or you can add or repeat the phrase or the sentence or the question. Next one is, nahihilo ka ba? Are you feeling dizzy? Nahihilo ka ba? You can answer, oo, oh, oh, nahihilo ako. Or if you, if you are not feeling dizzy, you can say, hindi. Hindi ako nahihilo. Another question is, nag-aaral ka ba? Are you studying? To answer yes, you say, oo. Oh, oh. And then you can either add, nag-aaral ako. Oo, oh, oh, nag-aaral ako. Or you can just say, oo. Oh, oh. Which is understandable that you are studying. Or, hindi. Hindi ako nag-aaral. Okay, next is, nagugutom ka ba? Are you hungry? To answer yes, you say, oo, oh, oh, nagugutom ako. Gutom is our root word which means hunger. Gutom. Or if you're not hungry, you can say, hindi. Hindi ako nagugutom. Next question is, nagluluto ka ba? Do you cook? Nagluluto ka ba? So if it's affirmative or you know how to cook, you say, Oo, oh, oh, nagluluto ako. Or if you don't know how to cook, you can say, Hindi, hindi ako nagluluto. Or hindi ako marunong magluto. Next is, umiiyak ka ba? Um, our root word here is iyak. When we say iyak, that's cry. So umiiyak ka ba? Are you crying? Like if you're not crying, you can say, Hindi. Hindi ako umiiyak. But if you are crying, you can say, Oo, oh, oh, umiiyak ako. Or you can just say, Opo, umiiyak po ako. Hindi, hindi po ako umiiyak. Okay, next is, Makakalipad ka ba? Can you fly? Our root word here is lipad. Makakalipad ka ba? Can you fly? Hindi po, hindi po ako makakalipad. Opo, makakalipad po ako. Like, if you can fly, you can say, Opo, kaya ko pong lumipad. Makakalipad po ako. Okay, next is, Kaya mo pa ba? Can you still manage to say yes? You can say, Opo, kaya ko pa po. Or, Oo, kaya ko pa. If you cannot manage already, you can say, Hindi, hindi ko na po kaya. Or, hindi ko po kaya. Next is, Nakabayad ka ba? Were you able to pay? If you're able to pay, you can say, Opo, nakabayad na po ako. Or, Oo, nakabayad na ako. 
If you are unable to pay, you can say, hindi po, hindi pa po ako nakabayad. Next is, nakabili ka na ba? Were you able to buy already? Nakabili ka na ba? You can answer, oo, nakabili na ako. Or, opo, nakabili na po ako. Or, hindi, hindi po ako nakabili. Hindi pa po ako nakabili. Oo, or hindi. Next is, aalis ka na ba bukas? Aalis ka na ba bukas? Are you leaving tomorrow? To say yes, you say opo or oo or no. If not, you can say hindi or hindi po. If you want to answer in a complete sentence, you can say, um, like if the question is, aalis ka na ba bukas? And then you wanted to say yes, you can say oo, aalis na ako bukas. Or hindi, hindi po, hindi pa po ako aalis bukas. Next is, inaantok ka pa ba? Our root word here is antok, that is sleepy. Ayan, inaantok ka pa ba? And then to answer yes, you say, opo, inaantok pa po ako. Or oo, inaantok pa ako. If you're not feeling sleepy, you can say hindi. Hindi po ako inaantok. Ayan, or hindi po, or hindi. Next is, matalino ka ba? Are you intelligent? To say yes, of course, because you're intelligent, you say, Opo, matalino po ako. Or, oo, matalino ako. If you're not intelligent, if you're not that confident about your intelligence, you can say, hindi, hindi po ako matalino. Or, hindi po, hindi po ako matalino. Next is, we have, takot ka ba sa ahas? Are you afraid of snakes? Takot ka ba sa ahas? You can say, opo, takot po ako sa ahas. Or, oo, or opo, either is already acceptable. Those two words, either of the two, is pwede na. Okay, next is, mabilis ba ang train? Is the train fast? Opo, mabilis po ang train. Or, hindi, hindi po mabilis ang train. Mabagal po siya. Opo, or hindi po, oo, or hindi. Next is, dilaw ba ang paborito mong kulay? Opo, dilaw po ang paborito kong kulay. Or if not, hindi po, hindi po dilaw ang paborito kong kulay. Verde po. Okay, next is, Juan ba ang pangalan mo? Is Juan your name? Opo, Juan po ang pangalan ko. Yes, my name is Juan. Or if not, hindi po, hindi po Juan ang pangalan ko. Next is, nasa labas ka ba? Are you outside? To affirmatively say yes, you can say, Opo, nasa labas po ako. Or, hindi po, hindi po ako nasa labas. Nasa loob po ako. Loob is inside and labas is outside. Okay, nasa labas ka ba? Opo, or hindi po. Nakapunta ka na ba sa Pilipinas? Have you been to the Philippines? Opo, or hindi po. Or, opo, nakapunta na po ako sa Pilipinas. Hindi pa po, hindi pa po ako nakapunta sa Pilipinas. Okay, next is, babae ka ba? Are you a girl? Opo, babae po ako. Or if you're not a girl, you can say, hindi po, hindi po ako babae, lalaki po ako. Okay, next is, lalaki ka ba? Are you a boy? Opo, lalaki po ako. Or, hindi po, hindi po ako lalaki. Babae po ako. Okay, next is, doktor ka ba? Oo, doktor po ako. Or, hindi po, hindi po ako doktor. Just, oo or hindi is already acceptable. But if you want to explain a little further, if you want to answer in a complete sentence, you can just like repeat the sentence or the question. Before that, Let us have the following terms. The first one is alpabeto. Al-pa-be-to. Alpabeto. Alpabeto. When we say alpabeto in English, that is alphabet. Another one is we have the word baybayin. 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 When we say baybayin in English, That is syllabication. Let us have our Tagalog vowels. But be sure to note that Tagalog is a phonetic language where each letter has only one sound. We have A, A, E, 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 E. O, O, and U, U, A, E, I, O, U. 
A is pronounced as in the word art. E is pronounced like the E in the word end. And E is pronounced like the E in the word igloo. While the O is pronounced as the O in the word ostrich. And the U is pronounced as the U in the word soon. Again, A, E, E, O, U. A, E, E, O, U. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Mahusay. Now, let us practice our vowels. Aso, a, so, aso, aso, aso. Next is paa, pa, a, paa, paa. We also have ilog, ilog, e log, e log. Ilog. Next is ubas, ubas, u bas, ubas, ubas. We also have elepante, elepante, e le pan te, elepante, elepante. Next is umaga, 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 u. Ma ga umaga umaga again let us read aso paa ilog ubas elepante umaga aso paa ilog elepante ubas and umaga now it's your turn to read Mahusay. Another thing to note is that you have to pronounce every letter even if they are repeated, making sure that each syllable is defined. When a word has multiple vowels, pronounce each letter separately. The first one, example, we have maalaala, maalaala, maalaala. Ma a la a la ma a la a la ma a la a la. Next is paki usap paki usap pa ki u sap paki usap paki usap. We also have u ulit u ulit u u lit u ulit. And lastly, we have e e sip e e sip e e sip e e sip again maala ala paki usap u ulit e e sip maala ala paki usap u ulit e e sip. Now it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Next is we have our long vowels. Example, we have Tagalog, 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 Tagalog. Next is Meron, 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 Meron. We also have Adobo, Adobo. A do bo adobo adobo and nipin 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 again we have tagalog meron adobo nipin tagalog meron adobo nipin 
Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Magaling! Let us proceed to the next. When pronouncing Tagalog words, we have to be particular if it has a long vowel or no. Because it changes the meaning of a word. We have here buhay, buhay, buhay. When we say buhay, that's life, buhay. We also have the word buhay. When we say buhay, that is alive, buhay. Buhay, buhay. We also have another one, hapon. When we say hapon, that's afternoon, like magandang hapon. Ha, pon, ha, pon. We also have the word hapon. When we say hapon, that means Japanese. Ang kanyang kaibigan ay isang hapon. His or her friend is a Japanese. Hapon. Again, let's read. Buhay, 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 buhay. Next is hapon, hapon. Next, hapon, hapon, buhay, buhay, hapon, hapon. Now, it's your turn to read. Handa, start. Next, we have the consonants P, T, and K. Pronounce the sound without the puff of air coming from your mouth. This is what we are going to remember when we are pronouncing the consonants P, T, and K. We have here P as in part, P as in part, T as in star, star, and we have K as in the C in care, care. We have here some examples. Pangit, pa -nit. pangit, pangit. Next is payat, payat, pa yat, payat, payat. We also have pito, pito, pi to, pito, pito. Next is payong. Payong, pa, yong, payong, payong. Pera, pera, pe, ra, pera. Next is, tanong, tanong, ta, nong, tanong, tanong. Let's read again. Pangit, payat, pito, payong, pera. Tanong, pangit, payat, pito, payong, pera, tanong. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Mahusay. Very good. Let us have some more examples. We have the word... Too big, too big, too big, too big, too big. Next is tasa, tasa, ta, sa, tasa. We also have the word tala, tala, ta, la, tala, tala. Next is takot, takot, ta, kot, takot. We also have Tindahan, tindahan, tin, da, han, tindahan, tindahan. We also have kanan, kanan, ka, nan, kanan. Let us all read again. Tubig, tasa, tala, takot, tindahan, kanan, tubig, tasa, Tala, takot, tindahan, kanan. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start.
We also have the consonant NG. NG as pronounced in the word long ago. Long ago. We also have the NG in the words sing along. Sing along. And another one ringing. Ringing. Let us practice saying the consonant NG. We have nga, 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 nga. Nge, 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 nge. And ni, 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 ni. We also have ngo, 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 ngo. And ngu, ngu. Ngu, ngu. Again, let's read. We have nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Again, nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Magaling. Very good. Let us practice our consonant NG. Nga. 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 Ngayon. Nga. Yon. Ngayon. Ngayon. Next is ngiti, ngiti, ngi, ti, ngiti. We also have ngunit, ngunit, ngu, nit, ngunit. Next is ngipin, ngipin, ngi, pin, ngipin. We also have sanga, sa, nga, sanga, sanga, sanga. Let's all read again. Nga, nga, ngayon, ngayon, ngiti, ngiti, ngunit, ngunit, ngipin, ngipin, sanga, sanga. Another example, we have pangalan, pangalan, pa, nga, lan, pangalan, pangalan. Next is Pangako, pangako, pa, nga, ko, pangako. We also have kalinga, ka, li, nga, kalinga. Next is linggo, 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 linggo. Sunod, next we have pinggan, 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 pinggan. Next is langgam, 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 langgam. Again, let's read. Pangalan, pangalan, pangako, pangako, kalinga, kalinga, linggo, linggo, pinggan, pinggan, langgam, langgam. Let us practice reading the sample sentences. The first one we have, Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Next is, Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Last we have, bumili siya ng mga gamit. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. Again, let's read from the top. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. That's all for today and I hope you learned something new.